Welcome to Conversations with Body and Mind with myself, Nirvana Lange. Body and Mind is your health and wellness online directory. And coming up in today's conversations, I'll be chatting with Melanie Bennett. And she does or has the Soul Pipers Kinesiology Center. Good morning, Melanie. How are you doing? Good morning, Nirvana. Thank you so much for having me. Hi. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you too. Now, kinesiology is something that I really love and I enjoy. I did do a little bit of uh, level one and level two uh, a few years ago, and I really enjoy that. But before we start mm -hmm. on telling us about your center and what kinesiology is about, tell us a little bit about your journey. How did it start and why go into body work? Cool. So... When I was about 16 years old, my older brother, who was a very good sportsman, um, had a very sore back and asked me to rub it for him. And when I was rubbing it, giving him this gorgeous massage, he fell asleep. And I went, wow, such power. <laughs> so I was enthralled with that. In my early 20s, I'd remembered that my mum had been to an astrologer when I was 12 years old, and I was told that I should be in healing. So in my early 20s, when I was running three jobs, I stuck with massage and reflexology, but only managed to find a teacher for massage when I was in my early 20s. Um, then from there, I went and did the reflexology with somebody by the name of Jack Rubin, and he was one of the first reflexology teachers in South Africa. Um, then moving on from there, I started my own practice in Bemore Gardens, working on sportsmen and sportswomen, improving their health and their dynamics. But then moved to Durban with my husband. He had always wanted to be at the sea. And um, then heard about Harold Bliss, who's a kinesiologist. My older brother said my mother and I were missing each other. So phoned me one night and said he's going to bring my mom to visit. And I said, why? Because we didn't get on. Put the phone down, woke up the next morning, and I was covered in eczema all over my abdomen. And Harold said to me, it's emotional trauma at present time. And I said, well, how do you know that? And he said, because it's on the front of the body. The front is the present, the back is the past, left is female, right is male. And I just went, okay, where do I learn this stuff? So he was my first instructor in terms of Touch for Health, the foundation of all kinesiology worldwide, or most kinesiology worldwide. Thereafter, I went into 3 in Concepts with Gudrun Lauterbach, Andrew Verity, Marco Rado, uh, Hugo Tobar, and loads and loads of different teachers that we've had through the years, which we've been privileged enough to have come to South Africa. So then I started my center, basically just working on clients literally from the very beginning. It's been good. It's been fun. Great. And so Soul Piper's Kinesiology Center, um, you, you have many different um, modalities like specialized kinesiology, neuro training, and neural organizational technique, and several others. But um, tell us a little bit more about kinesiology and that little bit of experience that gave you that aha moment. So, kinesiology for me, I'd always been looking to possibly study psychology. And when I found kinesiology, I found that we were able to access the subconscious brain through the use of the muscle. So muscle monitoring, which accesses the subconscious brain to find out what's causing the problem with mental, emotional, or physical. And then we have this incredible possibility to change that. So almost like old habits, um, you can never change a habit, you can only create a new one. And the reiteration of the new habit, it will change your paradigm. So we're able to access your subconscious brain and then create that. Sorry, phone call coming through. So, and then, and then create a new habit and a new paradigm between your behavior now and the behavior you really want to elicit and the way you want to be. So by doing that, it just changes the person's paradigm and able their whole behavior pattern, the way they think about life, the way they think about themselves, and create more of what they really want in their lives. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So tell me, um, you were telling me off recording about something that happened with your husband and running the comrades. Uh, what was, what was that? Yes. 
So after I did my first workshop um, with Harold Bliss, it's Touch for Health 1, and it's the 14 muscles. You learn how to muscle check 14 muscles bilaterally on the body and how to balance them. Um, Keith was running Comrades for the first time, or the only time, and he landed up with ITB, iliotibial band inflammation, and he couldn't walk down the passage. He was in such pain. So he asked me if I could do something. So I said, well, I'm not sure, but let's try. Put him on my table, did a 14 muscle balance, and he sat up immediately afterwards and he bent his leg backwards and forwards. He said, oh, it, it, I can still feel it. And I went, oh my God, I've done something wrong. I didn't do it right. I don't know what I'm doing. And then this thing hit me and said, but he's not in any pain. And when I verbalized that, he was completely shocked. He couldn't actually believe it because he hadn't thought about that aspect, even though he'd been in agony before. And it took him 10 years to actually tell me how shocked he was, that that had actually worked with a 40 muscle balance, he was pain free. <laughs> so that for me was just completing everything that I knew intuitively that this is such an awesome paradigm or such an awesome, um, I've got the wrong words in my head. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's possibility. A, yeah. And modality it, to it's use. It's a modality. Yes. For, absolutely. Yeah. And, and a, a modality that really bypasses the, the mind and, and uh, the you know, how we try and rationalize things. And it really goes straight into the subconscious and, and uh, bringing those things to the surface. Um, so, um, how do you choose or decide to go to a therapist? There's so many different types of modalities, as you say. Um, wh what would you say is the best way? So, I always look at it being so many different modalities. and Personally, I think most of them work and they're all absolutely relative. But... I always say it's like choosing a gynecologist. You know, people are going to be looking in your private parts and you need to trust that person or have faith in the person that they know what they're doing. So that's how you must be with a kinesiologist or any other type of therapy. It's looking at, um, do I feel that I'm benefiting from this? Do I feel better after a session? Sometimes you might feel a little bit worse, but that should only be up to 48 hours. Um, because that's like having a really good massage. After 48 hours, your body kicks in, it's recuperating, and you should actually be feeling a lot better than when you went for the session. Um, so that for me is how, how people should really be choosing that with whoever they go to. Mm. And that person. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. And also, it's mm. also something where the body will let you know how many times to go and um, that the session needs to be going because it's like an onion, isn't it? That uh, you have to go through certain layers, but it doesn't mean that it's to infinity that you now yeah, you know, have to have this it budget. It just depends on the person. Yes. It depends on the person. So, if we're muscle checking or monitoring the person, their mental, emotional, and physical knows exactly how much money they've got and what their problem happens to be. So based on that, looking at when they come for a session, they will give as much as necessary to get them to where they need to go before another session is valid. Mm. So it's always muscles monitoring to see at the end of a session, do they need another session? Do they want another session? And if so, when that would be. I very rarely have had somebody who needs to come the next day or two days later, because I believe that you really do need to process what we've actually been through and the change that has happened. Mm. So anywhere between a week, two weeks, some people six weeks, some people have been years, then that ultimately means it's choice. Even if you say, if a person's muscle says they should only come back in six weeks, if they decide they want to come back in three, choice supersedes everything. So mm. if they're making those choices, that's absolute. And the system that they are will adjust to whatever is next to actually balance them through. That makes sense? Yep. Yep. Okay. So a couple more minutes. Um, so you also offer neuro training, um, neural organizational technique, touch for health. Is that all different levels of your kinesiology practice? Yeah, they're all different types of kinesiology. So neuro training, it's training your neurology to do what it's supposed to do. Touch for health is very physical in its format. Um, the other one. Neuro organizational technique. 
NOT. So NOT is when a person's gone through shock or trauma, just living in South Africa can be considered as a shock and trauma. We go into defense. And so we test a series of neurological responses to see where the person is stuck and at which state they're stuck. Is it eyes open in the light or is it eyes open in the dark? And so by balancing their neurology, it allows them to actually be present in their physical body again so that they're able to respond to life. And response really means choice. Yep. So, yes, but I don't separate, I don't separate, oh, now we're going to do NOT or now we're going to do neuro training. As the session progresses, your the system body tells me what we're actually going to focus on. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's so, how the um, process works. Yeah. Um, just quickly, you also do teach um, kinesiology. You're an instructor, correct? I do. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. From the foundation and the whole first year, mm -hmm. it takes about 14 months and then you get to 250 hours, which means you're able to work on the public and right. charge for that. Yes, of course. Yeah. And um, your uh, contact details, how people can get hold of you, social media, if you could share that with us, please. Sure. My website is soulpipers.coza and there's the National Kinesiology Association is kinesiologysa.coza. Um, so those are the two. I'm in Durban, uh, sorry, I'm in Westville North in Durban. Um, and you've got my contact details on the website. So that's cool. Fantastic. Thank you very much, uh, Melanie. And you can go to the Body and Mind website, which is bodyandmind.coza. You can also go to the Body and Mind blog, which is bodyandmind forward slash blog.coza. You can download the Body and Mind Health Directory app on your Apple as well as in your Android um, at Play Stores and you can interact with us that way and uh, send us questions. Please do subscribe and uh, click the little bell for the notifications so that you can receive um, when we upload our next interview and please do share this on to people that you think can gain benefit out of these great conversations. Great. Thank you very much, Melanie. And uh, thank you for sharing your beautiful work with us. Thank you, Nirvana. It's been a lovely conversation. <laughs> Have a super day. You too.